Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Now, if you are one of the many people that I speak to, if you are one of the many people that I see on my social media feeds talking about the fact that they have insomnia, craving a good night's sleep, wishing and hoping and praying that they wake up in the morning feeling refreshed, feeling rejuvenated, feeling alive. This video is for you because I have fantastic news. Let's just stop there. I have fantastic news which you are going to struggle to accept. You're going to struggle to accept it because it goes against the story that you've been telling yourself for a number of years. You see, here's the thing. You don't actually have insomnia. What you do have is a belief issue which is leading you down the path that you have insomnia. You see, here's the thing. The more that you tell people that you have insomnia, the more that you believe that you have insomnia, the more you are going to start living the life in alignment as the person playing the part as someone who has insomnia. You see, what I want you to realize is your current standard of life is just your perception. And it's your perception that's based on your past influences, behaviors, and experiences. At some point in your life, you have had a rough night's sleep. You have struggled to get to sleep. This is completely normal. Nobody gets seven to nine hours of beautiful, wonderful, rejuvenating sleep every single night. Therefore, on the odd occasion, at some point, you have had a poor night's sleep. That poor night's sleep has then dictated your behavior for the next day. You have a poor night's sleep, which means that you overconsume caffeine, which is gonna affect your ability to get to sleep the next night. You have a bad sleep. It affects your decision-making ability. It confuses you. You are living in a cloud of make-believe. Therefore, we combine that with the fact that you're consuming too much coffee, you're making the wrong food choices, all of which are going to impact your next night's sleep. And then we have the snowball effect. Then you start to genuinely believe of issues with your sleep. You believe that you are an insomniac. Therefore, your ego your subconscious, your unconscious mind has been conditioned to believe that you are an insomniac. Believe dictates the way that we behave. The way that we behave dictates the way that we feel. The way that we feel dictates the action. The action dictates the outcome. And there we go round and round and round and round and round. So in your mind, you believe you have programmed your unconscious mind that you are an insomniac, which means that you place less priority on going to bed at a reasonable time because in your mind, ah, I'm an insomniac, what's the point? You then watch television too late into the night. You eat too late into the night. You drink coffee all through the day because you're an insomniac. You struggle to sleep. Your ego is listening, your ego is self-righteous. You go to bed, you turn the light out. After five minutes, because you can't sleep. Your ego is whispering. Your ego is saying, I told you, we have insomnia. I told you, we are, we're an insomniac. We can't sleep. Which means after five or 10 minutes, to, to, you open your eyes, you turn the light on, you start scrolling for you, through your phone. You start complaining on social media that you cannot sleep. Where other people who cannot sleep then validate your behavior and agree with you and tell you that yes, you have, I also am an insomniac. We all can't sleep. So then we have the, the herd mentality of everybody validating their own behavior when the reality is if we strip it right back and we look at your mindset, we look at the thoughts that are driving the behaviors, the reality is you're not an insomniac. You just think you're an insomniac. This is exactly why I came up with the Sleep Advantage coaching program. It's a program that's designed to arm you with the knowledge arm you with the information, arm you with the rituals, the structure and the routine, which are gonna take you from struggling to get to sleep every night to sleeping seven to nine hours, to waking up feeling incredibly refreshed. Once you start waking up refreshed, your decision-making ability is gonna go through the roof, which means your nutritional choices are going to be much more in line with the person who you want to be, which means that you're going to burn fat you're going to build more muscle. 
You're going to feel healthier. You're going to be a nicer person. Your relationships will improve. All because you stopped thinking emotionally, you started thinking rationally, and you started to actually prioritize your sleep instead of leaning away from sleep because you have believed that you are an insomniac. Hopefully, this has given you something to think about. Hopefully, this has nudged you enough out of your current belief structure and made you question yourself. Because it's only when we develop the ability to ask, ask ourselves better questions that we can get better results. Hopefully, this has helped. If you are struggling with your sleep, click the link below, download the course. It will change your life. I fucking guarantee it. Have a beautiful day.